السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ان شاء اللہ یو آر آل ویل اینڈ ہیپی پلیز میک شور دیٹ یو ہیو سبسکرائب اینڈ آلسو ہٹ دیٹ بیل نوٹیفیکیشن بٹن اور یو ول مس آؤٹ آن فیوچر ویڈیوز برادرز اینڈ سسٹرز آئی وانٹ یو ٹو واچ دس ویڈیو دس از دس سی ای او آف بی ایم ڈبلیو اینڈ ہی از گیونگ اے ٹاک اینڈ دس از واٹ ہیپن ان دا مڈل آف دا ٹاک Jüngster Beweis ist der Brace. Auch der Now, I perfectly understand that you want to know if he was okay and why. Uh, why did he collapse in that way? And yes, he was indeed okay after that uh, scary little situation, so he was fine. But, you gotta admit, it looked pretty bad for a second, didn't it? But brothers and sisters, what's more important than why is when. Think about when this happened. When. Ponder that, inshallah, a second as you watch the following. <laughs> And this is the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi showing us the latest yoga move he learned that morning. I'm going to let you finish laughing at Modi at the end. Don't lie to me now. So the BMW CEO collapses in the middle of his great prestigious conference speech. Both the newsreader and Modi collapse and fall in front of the whole world watching. The point I'm trying to make is, disaster can strike us at any time. It doesn't matter where we are. As you saw, all three of them were on camera in front of the whole world, and the world was watching them. But it doesn't matter how rich you are. I'm sure that CEO of BMW is earning uh, millions and has millions stuffed in his bank. It doesn't matter how powerful you are. That's the point. Modi is no less than the Prime Minister of India. If Allah wills it, it will happen, no matter where or what you are doing. The point is, anything can happen at any time. So, if that's the case, what is the point in all of this? Here is the world's tallest building, rising okay. gracefully from Whoa. the desert. Whoa. Burj Khalifa honours the city with its extraordinary Impressive. union. Price, 7 million US dollars. Whoa! That looks good. Introduced in November yep, 2018, that looks good, man. the SC-18 That's Alston good. is a track-focused, one-off created... ...houses and mega-mansions around America. All right. These are some of All the right. most expensive homes in the world. And they redefine the nice definition views. of luxury. Catering to those buyers who have a personal net worth of over a billion dollars. All right, I'm not too sure about that. Dear my boss, I am sorry to inform you that from Monday I am resigning. You have been a great boss, even though you're... Uh... An infidel? <laughs> you would kindly invite me to your Xmas do, but you never used to let me pray. So from Tuesday, I will focus on my death. Because I finally realised that we will all die, including you, boss. So stuff your Lambo, <laughs> and thank you for the many years. Send. Well, we still need to put food on the table. We still have to send the kids to school and look after our health. So can you stop writing that resignation letter just for now? <laughs> Oh, please let me keep my job. Please let me keep my job. Please let me keep my job. Uh, hi, boss. I uh, hope you liked my belated April Fool's joke about me resigning. <laughs> Got you. I, I know it's December, uh, but in our culture, we do it on a different date every year. Something to do with the lunar calendar. I know even I get confused. Uh, anyway, look forward to seeing you on Monday for a productive uh, capitalist day. Uh, send... So just because we all end up in a grave, it doesn't mean we give up on life and turn into this. 
But what we ought to do is try and live our life with a bit more perspective. For example, how long will we spend here? 50, 60, 70? And that's if we're lucky. And how long do you think we will spend in there? 1,000? 20,000? 100,000? And if we include the afterlife, you're looking at no less than eternity. So when we weigh the two, this is what happens. Life does something very strange to us. Instead of seeing that reality, we instead see this. When in reality, it is more like this. Okay, that's much better. And yet, we invest and do so much for this much, much shorter life and think and do so little for the much, much longer afterlife. It just belies sense. It's silly. It's a bit like this. It's a Sunday. You are chilling with mates. Average day, nothing special. But you're wearing this. Now, you don't need me to tell you that that looks very silly. OTT is the abbreviation that kids would use nowadays. And then imagine you are getting married and it's, for most people, this is like the biggest day of their life. But instead of coming dressed as a groom, you come looking like this. <laughs> okay, okay, you are one stupid groom. You are simply getting it all the wrong way around, you salmon. Your best effort, your striving, your discipline should be more focused on your afterlife and less down here. Now, what makes our job more urgent is that life is so unpredictable. Not every person on earth will make it to 70 or 80. It can literally end at any time. We don't know when, and that's a ni'amah and blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in itself. Because if we did, just imagine, life would be impossible to get through. But what is certain is this, that it will happen. Now, that's a guarantee. So, it makes sense, a lot of sense, to wonder what comes after all of this. When this short, unpredictable life comes to an end, what comes next? Seems like a reasonable question to ask, right? Yet we hardly think about that. Hmm, strange, don't you think? Thank you for watching, my dear brothers and sisters. And of course, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share. Hit that bell notification button so you don't miss out on future videos when I upload them. And take care, I'm going to leave it here. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And always remember, La ilaha illallahu Muhammad Rasulullah.